Okay, back to our VST Audio Bay interface. By checking this box, you allow other applications to use the ASIO driver, even if Cubase is running. And of course, this applies to Cubase SX and SL. Direct monitoring allows you to bypass Cubase. Your hardware needs to be ASIO 2.0 compatible. Next, we've got expert settings. You will probably not need to use these options very often. The first one is audio priority. This allows you to determine the processes in Cubase which have priority access to your CPU's time. Next, we've got preload amount. This parameter ensures smooth playback. Lower latency. This allows on-the-fly mixing if you get playback problems such as clicks. It's a good idea to check this out. Multiprocessing. These options are for computers with more than one CPU. Adjust for recording latency and record placement offset are self-explanatory. Okay, once you choose your driver, it appears right below. From there, you can access the clock source and control panel of your sound card.